another quite famous avatar. I like to call him the more butch avatar, uh, with Krishna, of course, more in tune with his feminine nature, as one student put it to me. Why is he so attractive, even though he sometimes, even though some might say he looked a bit like Boy George, uh, Rama is the butch counterpart, kind of like Hercules, and we can say Krishna's correlate is Dionysus among the Greeks. And then Rama uh, is famous for shooting arrows. He shoots them like a machine gun. And so the big Ramayana epic, known throughout Asia, at least as well as the Iliad and Odyssey, are known among European peoples, uh, involves the abduction of Rama's wife Sita by the evil demon Lord Ravana. She is stolen away, kidnapped to Sri Lanka, and then Rama. Uh, and then very much like the case in the Iliad, when Menelaus' wife Helen of Troy is abducted by Paris, and Agamemnon sets off to fetch her back for his brother. Uh, in this case, Rama is accompanied by Hanuman, the monkey god. Hanuman, very auspicious. Uh, and serves as Rama's general, and together they invade Sri Lanka by building, believe it or not, a path made of boulders thrown by Hanuman's monkey army. Rama defeats the demon king and takes his wife back, but since there's doubt that she's still pure, having been held prisoner for so long by Ravana, uh, he abandons her to the forest and himself um, disappears into the ocean. For those who know the Mario Brothers, uh, the story of Rama and his brother Lakshmana to save the princess from the evil demon king will sound very familiar, and developed as it was by Japanese writers who undoubtedly knew all about the Ramayana. Uh, this story lives on today in video games. Spoiler is that in the end, both Rama and Krishna are both, in fact, Vishnu. Vishnu is the Lord behind all lords, the God of gods, the King of kings. And Krishna, as well, is completely God and completely man. But that does not mean he is like Jesus of Nazareth. 